Hi, welcome to bonuskitchen.com. Quick recipes to satisfy your hunger. Delicious recipes to satisfy your cream. And healthy recipes to keep you fit. Today I'm making my favorite pizza. So first I'm going to prepare the dough. Into the bowl, take 2 teaspoons of rapid rice yeast. Add a tablespoon of sugar. 1 and quarter cup of warm water. Mix it and let the yeast bloom. When the yeast has bloomed nicely, add 2 3 tablespoons of oil, salt as per taste, garlic powder if desired, dry Italian herbs, you can use fresh herbs. Mix well. And now ready to add flour. And using the dough hook, I'm going to knead the dough for about 6 to 8 minutes. It will take about more than 10 minutes if you do this job with your hands. When done, coat the bowl and the dough with oil so that the dough do not get dry. Alright, so the dough is ready and I'm going to let it rise until it gets double or triple in volume. While the dough is resting, I'm going to prepare sauce. Here I have all the vegetables I'm going to use to prepare the sauce. Tomatoes, red bell pepper, onion, garlic, carrot, and basil leaves. First, I'm going to boil all these vegetables until tender. Basil, I'm going to use later. Add water, salt to taste. Turn on the stove on a medium to high heat. And to boil these vegetables faster, I'm going to use pressure cooker. The vegetables. Now, right now, it's a super hot. But if you want to remove the skin of the tomato and bell pepper, you can do so before you blend. You can easily lift the skin of the tomato. Take out vegetables into the blender. Blend the vegetables until nice and smooth. Perfect. Take out into the bowl. Now a couple of more ingredients into this sauce. Here I have this paprika, very mild flavor. And sugar, optional. Mix it very well. And also, here I have finely chopped basil leaves. Mmm, the aroma, so wonderful. Alright, so the sauce is ready as well. And now I'm going to work on toppings. Toppings ready. I am using onion, colorful Sweet peppers, jalapeno, tomato, I cut into slices, olives, and cheese. It's been more than half an hour, so let's check the dough. Look at this dough, it's more than double even. Punch down. Bring down onto the floured surface. Knead it again. Alright, so I rolled out two pizzas. One is a large and the other one is medium. Now, what I normally do if I have time again, I just cover the rolled pizza dough and again let it rise slightly, just a little bit. It won't rise too much, so it's totally up to you. Alright, I have everything ready, so it's time to prepare pizza. Preheat oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. First, I'm going to spread sauce. Next, I spread some cheese. Now, some people just like to um, sprinkle cheese on top only, but this is my way of preparing it because I want to see those colorful uh, peppers, the vegetables. And now it's time to sprinkle vegetables. And now, the colorful peppers. Again, more cheese on top. Alright, you can see that how colorful it looks. The next thing I do different is I press a little bit these things inside the dough. The reason is that when you load with lots of toppings, sometimes when you eat, it may 
get separated from the crust. So this helps to keep everything in place. All right. Now some more toppings. Tomato, olives, and I have kept some more jalapenos, which I'm going to put on one side only because kids do not like too much of jalapenos. Perfect, doesn't this pizza look so yummy already? Look at it. Here I have the cheese pizza ready as well. Alright, so the oven is ready, pizza is ready, and ready to go into the green dead oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And bake pizza for about 20 minutes or until you see the bottom of the pizza crust golden brown color. The pizza has been baking for about 20 minutes and ready to come out. Mm, look at this pizza. The aroma is so wonderful, I can't tell you how good it is. Hello, look at this. This is awesome. 1 to 10, 10. So I hope I made it easier for you to prepare pizza from scratch. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another great recipe.